This is where most battles were fought between the Shabral and Mamulja, the Shobrit Cinderfield. A field of cinders, indeed. How fierce their clashes must have been. The war over these lands began after the Yorkwee's departure some 500 years ago. And for four centuries thereafter, the two enemies repaid violence with violence. A constant stream of minor skirmishes punctuated by massive slaughter. Until father ended their endless conflict 80 years ago. Accompanied by a retinue of only six, the Dawn Servant opposed both armies and brought the fighting to a standstill. First they sealed Vali Armanda at full strength, and now this. It was during this armistice that both sides gathered for negotiations at the Dawn Servant's behest. For too long, you have been bound by your ancestors' violent legacy. It is past time you broke free of it. Tell that to the scales, come! We fight to protect what is rightfully ours. If not for their greed, we'd be living in peace. Buff your tails and scurry off, then! Cowards like you ill deserve the bounty of this forest. Even should one of you succeed in vanquishing the other, your triumph will last only until a new invader arrives. Tell me, do you know of the vast continent that lies far to the east where numerous nations vie for dominance? You do not. And why should you? Affairs beyond the salt we have no intention to cross are of no consequence to us. Not until those affairs come to Tural, like our honored visitor here. Is from across the ocean. I've been to the ocean before, and it's nothing but water farther than the eye can see. What sort of vessel could possibly reach its end? That such technology exists is indisputable, as is foreign power's awareness of Tural. If any such country were to develop a taste for Turali soil and bring to bear the might of innovations we can only imagine, what do you suppose happens then? You do not know the warlords of the East, but you know that if they came, they would not settle for a single forest. By joining hands, we might create a unified front, an alliance capable of repelling them or any other foe. There is no greater proof of these than my companions and I. Alone we are weak, but together, we triumphed over Valigarmanda. What? You defeated the Skyruin? I'd take you for a liar if the sting of our own defeat wasn't still fresh. Their coordination was indeed impressive. How the Pelu Pelu stymied our efforts to cripple the Yoqui's legs and defend our ballistas. 
And when we withdrew to strike again from a distance, the Hanu Hanu called the winds to make our arrows miss their marks. In seeking to exploit their weaknesses, we only subjected ourselves to their strengths. Those strengths are born of cooperation. The guiding principle of the nation we envision. But our feud has lasted for centuries. How do you expect us to join hands now? Ha <laughs> ha! Give us an evening to convince you. And so began that legendary banquet. One would not expect sworn enemies to abruptly drink to each other's health, and, indeed, a tense silence hung over the venue. But then, the dawn servant called for the exchange of traditional cuisine. So it was that the Mamulja partook of spiced meat and the Chabral steamed Najul. Before long, delight manifested upon the faces of those present, each side impressed by the other's dish. Seeing this, the dawn servant laughed and declared once more. Their flavors, he said, would be even better combined, and he proceeded to help them prepare the new creation. That's a brookie bill, I'd wager. <laughs> it is a marriage of Shabral and Mamulja cultures, and proof of their newfound cooperation. The dawn servant had asked for a single evening, but the feasting is said to have lasted three days and three nights. So delicious was their repast. In the end, a peace accord was reached, and the dawn servant's words at that time still illuminate our way forward. Ignorance begets a strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Sorry. It's just to think that he ended an age-old conflict with food. It's all so absurd. Yet somehow so very papa, I couldn't help but laugh. Ignorance begets strife. Understanding begets fellowship. Now then, I trust you understand the significance of Shibruk Pibil and the history it has written. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing the story with us. What's wrong? Someone was there, you say? Perhaps our competition is cooking up some scheme or another. <sighs> Something bitter and half-baked, no doubt. <laughs> 